Hey, what up guys? I'm back. I have just gotten back from spring break and unfortunately tomorrow I have to go to class. Woo, college classes. Doesn't that just sound entertaining? But anyway, I digress. I have another review for you and right here is in front of you. This is another tinted moisturizer that I ended up trying a while ago because it first came out when I first saw it on TV. This right here is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. You can actually find this stuff over at Sephora for about $28 to $29. I believe it was $29 bucks for this little tube right here. And this is what it looks like. It comes in a lot of shades. I chose the darkest shade, which is Sienna, because that was the only shade, well, I was originally going to try chestnut, but chestnut proved to be a little too light for me. Sienna proved to be the best shade for my skin skin colors, you can see by your hand. But um, I picked this up because, well, remember that Josie Moran review that I did on the Argan Tinted Moisturizer? That mo that tinted moisturizer was good, but I didn't like the way that it, that it felt when I was rubbing it onto my skin. It felt like... I was rubbing foundation makeup on my skin. I don't like that. So I ended up watching TV one day and I saw the commercial for this bare mineral stuff and I said, oh, let me give it a try. So I went to Sephora, I um, picked up the tube and I also got the brush. I'll be right back, I'll show you what the brush looks like. I got this brush right here. This is what the brush um, looks like. This is the matching brush that goes with the tinted moisturizer itself, so I'll just set that here. Okay. That's the matching brush with the tinted moisturizer. That brush, I believe, is also $28, I believe, plus tax. I just know that you can find both of them at Sephora. I'll put the prices of both items in the description, but I picked this up and I used it a couple of times before I decided to make this review for you. I gotta tell you, this stuff is a wonderful tinted moisturizer, an absolutely wonderful tinted moisturizer. In fact, this might be the tinted moisturizer I stick with for a while now because when I first apply it, usually I apply my tinted moisturizer after I do, after I wash my face, use a toner, and then use my facial moisturizer, and then I put on the tinted moisturizer. So when I first put this on, it's on. It didn't even feel like I was putting any makeup on my face. It felt like I was applying another moisturizer. And on top of that, because my face is already even enough as it is, I didn't need a lot of this stuff. You only need like small, tiny, pea-sized amounts, pea-sized amounts to cover my to cover your face. I only needed like maybe two tiny pea-sized amounts for each section of my face. My two cheeks, my forehead, and T-zone. Uh, T-zone and for my two cheeks so I applied that on and then what I do is I take the brush and I smooth it on so that it gives me a flawless complexion now applying this stuff is super easy and it's way faster and you can get done in minutes especially if you're low maintenance like me the only problem that I have with this is that I think the first time when I used this stuff, I was applying too much of it and over time it made my face look extremely oily and I don't know if I mentioned it before in the other reviews, but I don't like that. It's supposed to give you a fresh dewy look. The dewy look is fine with me as long as it doesn't make me look like I've been sweating profusely outside and since we're getting near summer, te summer temperatures, since we're now in spring, and we're getting summer temperatures in Florida here. That's kind of the problem that I'm getting with this stuff. Um, sorry, I forgot to show you what it looks like. Well, this is pretty much what the tube of it looks like. Let me just get it to focus. That's pretty much what it looks like there. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to have to squirt it out because then it could get really messy. It's on, It's a really nice cream. It's a really, really nice cream. But anyway, getting back on my thing... I find that I can't really, I'm not going to be using this stuff mostly during late spring to early summer, especially during summer, because during the summer season, my skin can get extremely oily and I'm more concerned about trying to keep a matte finish to my face 
than trying to cover up my little blemish scars. I can deal with those. I'm fine with that. But if you want to use this stuff, I highly recommend it. That is really good over winter, uh, early spring, and the fall season. If you're going to use it do during summer, uh, this would be best useful for people who don't have have oily to combination skin like me or combination to oily skin like I do because then it could look really really greasy on your on your face and make you look like a grease ball and I don't like that but all in all this is an awesome product and I would definitely purchase again if I had the money for it but I'm gonna be sticking with this tinted moisturizer from now on and I will be doing a brief tutorial if you must on how I apply this to my face I will try to fit that in sometime soon because I have a lot of projects to do and because my professors can be, you know, can be total you-know-what and like to assign stuff over spring break. But anyway, that's my review on it. If you have tried this product before, let me know how it worked for you in the comments below. I would love to hear how it did for your skin. And hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you absolutely love my review. And more will be coming soon from me just as soon as I get enough time to upload. So I will see you soon. And happy late spring break.